What's up everybody, Flamix 38 here, playing more A Half-Life A Day keeps Neil Breen away, so let's just get right back into it, huh? Sorry about the abrupt ending last time, but getting back into it. I believe you have a secret passage to show me. You have shown it to me. Thank you. Is there anything in these boxes? Ugh. It is nice that the ones that actually have stuff are marked. It took me a little while to catch on to that, but we good now. All right, hopefully I can uh, do better this time. Oh! Did I get hit? I heard damage noise. That's a gunship. Or some sort of ship. He does not see me. I gotta say, just before I forget, I really appreciate how this game takes kind of the open world, no hand-holding, um, oh, exploration of the first one, but the levels are designed more intuitively. Um, I think they did a really good job balancing that in this game, so far anyways, but we're, we're a good ways in. I think I, I think it's fair to make that make that hot take publicly known at this point. It's me, a scientist. Why didn't you tell me? Oh man, I hope I, that, I hope that guy was scripted to die. Because I was not paying attention to what he was saying until it was far too late. But hey, I've taken down antlines before. Oh, they just keep coming. I figured it was like a couple per area, but no, it would appear many antlions. I could just let them kill me. And I do want to check out what's in those boxes. Uh, nice. Crap, crap. Ah, uh, I am still on the sand. I see. Why don't I just let them kill me and see if I can save that guy? Do it now! It'll be the last guy, it'll be a cool last stand. Dang it, dude, you were supposed to kill me right before I kill you! We had a deal. Alright, um... One of you... Pretend that you're still alive, so I feel like I'm making a big sacrifice. That was weird. Uh... All right, let's try this again. Why do I even use that pistol anymore? I have plenty of ammo. Hello, sir. Who's Laszlo? Oh, is he still alive? You there! Stop where you are! Stay on the rock! Okay. Don't step on the sand, it makes the antlions crazy. Laszlo, don't move. No. Help! Laszlo, no! Dear God. Poor Laszlo. The finest mind of his generation. The finest mind of his generation who moved after you had just given a huge speech about how he shouldn't move or he'll die. Aww. I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. That's something I have to do. Go ahead. I hope you have better luck than we had. Dude, he's totally just gonna kill himself. 
He really loved Laszlo. That's rough. Remember to stay off the sand. The ant lions are edgy right now. Will do. Sorry, bud. Well, I technically saved one of them. Dude, if I hear a gunshot right as I get out of sight, I'm going to be sad. F me. F me. Stop knocking me into the sand. A holes. Oh, good lord, they're doing that thing where I can't move because of the. Alright, well, I did actually try that time for the record, but uh, they're very strategic about how they handle things. Alright, let's see if we can save Laszlo. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Looks like it might have been possible, but incredibly difficult. I'll look that up later. I doubt it's possible, but it could be. Bye. <laughs> Gordon's got better things to do. Oh man, I heard a weird shaking noise, and I thought that was... But that was it. Saw the light flashing before my eyes. And apparently the antlions can tell when it's a living thing. F me. Oh, it's just two at a time? Nice. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Whoops. I didn't know that tugs at long range. That's really convenient and helpful and nice. Why don't we try to keep some of these some of these boys with us? Shoot. Cord's a little slidey sometimes. Just to be safe. Thank you. Perfect. No, okay, never mind. Not quite perfect, but close. F me. Careful, don't break. We can just do a little. This is like one of those puzzles at those team workshop camps that they make you do when you're in high school. They take you to the adventure camp one week and you have to do the glorious team building exercises. This is one of those. Except Gordon doesn't need no team. Whoops. Alright, I think we're smooth sailing without the pallet from here.
I unequipped the gravity gun because I was like, I don't need this anymore because I'm just going to be jumping. And I forgot I had unequipped it, hence large grenade. Um, I'm a little worried about shooting, yeah, because they go far, and especially with the wooden pallets, I feel like they're going to break, but... doesn't help. Why can't I... Okay, let's just see what happens. Oh, the tree. I got the tree there. That's probably... I was probably cutting it close, but I made it. Alright. Hey, I haven't agitated you. You're not allowed to be up and about. Are you going to be upset as soon as I get close? Oh, he wasn't even looking at me. I thought he was. Haha, <laughs> the boxes. They are my friends. Quit knocking me into the sand, you a-holes! You're not allowed to be up there. Oh my lord. Well, that was sure worth it. Is there even going to be anything over here? Or is that the evil cave? So just where they crawl out of. I might just purposely die and respawn if this is just... unhelpful stuff. Yep, that seems not worth exploring. Alright, let's see if we can make our way back without screwing ourselves. We screwed ourselves, somehow. And a, a Gordon can still not climb over. Goodbye, friends. Let's see how far I can make it back before they kill me. Hello. You guys take your time, don't you? Are you just getting in each other's way? Jeez. Ow. You guys are no fun. Alright. Don't go to the left. Don't go that way. Go this way. Go this way like a hero. Can I just jump this? Yes. Get out of here. Okay, that was lucky. The apparatus looked like it was useful, but it was not. Oh, you're a nothing box. I thought you were a something box. But upon closer inspection, nothing box. Also, the platforming is more bearable in this one. 
than in the first one. Okay, that looks like it might actually be worth exploring, depending on how bad the jumps are. The jumps are pretty bad. But I'm curious. Jumps weren't that bad. Actually, I probably that was probably really useful. Uh, floor coverage, but whatever. Alright, that appears to have not been particularly worth it. Bummer. Jeez, Gort, you're sliding all over the place. Yeah, not that worth it, but it happened. It's F me. Goodbye for- oh, thank you for the boost. make our stand inside that house. Actually, we're going to do it in this house so we, don't have to, so we can keep our momentum going. Alright, come get some. That was easier than it should have been, I feel like. And we got a bunch of uh, SMG ammo right there. Oh, that counts as sand. That doesn't surprise me, but it's a bummer. Ow! I don't know what that does, but surely it does something. Oh, I've made it. Oh! I'm sure the ant lions love that. Do, do they love it? I figured they'd go like try to attack the noise, but apparently not. Okay, that was worth it. Alright, well maybe that distracts them so it's safe to walk on the sand over there now. Not over here, though. Wait, yes, over here. I could have sworn I heard the ground shake, but... Alright, well, let's just make a run for that rock and see what happens. Okay, still upset. But only one. Okay, so maybe it just reduces the danger. See what happens. No, nope, thought it might distract him. All right, do I gotta build my? This is kind of like a quiet place. We even have our silent protagonist. Actually, the weird thing is, though, is it reminds me of the silo scene in which silence was not an important part. It was just a matter of stay on top of the big thing or you will die. Because of the smaller floor underneath the big thing. Okay, fine, I'll use this one. 
Probably being paranoid. I bet the thing it makes it. Ah, dang it! But the thing makes it much safer than this strategy is implying. But we need something to lean up against it, like a pallet. Ah, but I need to get closer. Now I need a pallet. Okay, not quite. Right. Okay, buddy. F me. That didn't count. How is that not enough? All right, well either that thing doesn't work or I'm just not I'm not close enough. There we go. Good job, Gordon. Everyone's proud of you. All right, enough of that now. Please, 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 please Gordon. Thank you. Man, I, I did speak too soon about the platforming, apparently. Although it's still not nearly as bad as the first game. Ah, good. More. Wait, but there's no cover here. I'm supposed to make a run for it? I don't see much else of a strategy here. Ah, uh, boss fight. Hey man. Hey, oh, I almost shot him. <laughs> Can I look around a little first? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, is he sad because it's still an alien friend that's just being mean? Oops. Wait, or am I supposed to follow you? Ah, never mind. Nice. Three men will have need of these ferropods on the path to your head. Gather them now. A ferropod. Delicious. Um, was this the only one? I hope so. Man, who knew the Vortigaunts would be the coolest parts of Half-Life 2 after Half-Life 1? That's amazing. Hey guys, I'm Gordon Freeman. Well, Dr. Freeman, you're a regular antlion. F does that mean? I just killed a bunch of antlions. That's not how that works. Unless this is saying the pheromones are going to help me disguise myself, which is very likely. But what? Can the human guy just smell it on me and be like, ah, yes, an antlion. A funny joke. Get going, Dr. Freeman. Nova Prospect is just ahead. One man alone wouldn't stand much chance going in there. The Freeman oh. by his presence. Oh, I'm doing Far Cry 4. I see now. A man 
Ant with a herd of ant lions. Well played. Ah, that's what that thing means. Boom. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Do I have an infinite number of these? I hope so. Oh, this is going to be a test dummy. Mannequin? Why, why would you, why do you spell it like that? Headshot. Well, not really. <laughs> Careful of the sand, dude. Just kidding. Are you serious? This is making me uncomfortable. That doesn't seem like a very good defense, but good on you. All right, to me, my brethren. I am an antlion. Onward to Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Alright. Do I have my other weapons? I'm afraid to switch out. Because what if it's a process getting my antlion juice back? You work for me now. Man, I love Detroit Become Human. <laughs> you are free. Now join my revolution. You have no choice. They love it. Oh, but they don't love this. Stand by, my friends. Alright, well I thought the Antlions were going to be the worst part of the game, and now they've become one of the best parts. Well played, Valve. I can get those pheromones back. Yes, yes! And none of them died. Okay. Got it. Okay. Oh, excuse me, folks.